Verstappen has taken the chequered flag to win the Japanese Grand Prix. We're just one race away from the end of the 2022 Formula One season and Red Bull has found themselves in the midst of some serious drama. Is it me? Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Red Bull teammate Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen butt heads after the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Max, what happened? I told you already last time, uh, you guys don't ask that again to me. Okay, are we clear about that? I gave my reasons and I stand by it. Verstappen refused to let Perez pass during the final lap of the race for reasons he claims he already told the team. I'm sorry about that, Checo. We're deep in happy check afterwards. Yeah, it shows who, who he really is. Verstappen has now clinched a consecutive title as the F1 world champion, so any additional points he collects this season are simply bragging rights. Perez is still battling for second place with Ferrari driver Charles Leclerc. Had Max let Sergio through in yesterday's race, it would have given Perez enough points to finish the season in second place overall. <laughs> Nothing to say, really. I mean, after all I've done for him, um, it's a bit disappointing, to be honest. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner says the drivers have since cleared the air and Verstappen will fully support Perez's bid for second in next weekend's final race of the year. Diego, 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 Diego. I'm not a loser, okay? I win everything. I don't lose. I win. Nominees for the annual Game Awards have been announced, and unsurprisingly, the 2022 pack is led by heavyweight blockbusters God of War Ragnarok at 10 nominations, while Elden Ring and Horizon Forbidden West have seven nominations each. We don't really want more. Kratos. In a big surprise, Stray has the third largest number of nominations for a single game with the indie title having earned six noms in total. <coughs> Nominees for the biggest award game of the year were whittled down to a Plague Tale Requiem, Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, Stray, and Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So yeah, I'm a gamer. I like video games. The Game Awards will take place December 8th, and like previous shows, will feature more than just the awards. The event has become a showcase for game reveals, and the return of Crash Bandicoot has been teased for this year's show. Violence has always haunted this family. It's time to meet another generation of the Dutton family. It followed us from the Scottish Highlands and the slums of Dublin. Followed us here. Whereas 1883, the first prequel to the hugely popular show Yellowstone, took us back to the Wild West, 1923 will explore the early 20th century when historic drought, the end of prohibition, and the Great Depression all plagued the Mountain West. Where it doesn't follow, we hunt it down. We seek it. Harrison Ford stars as Jacob Dutton and Helen Mirren as his equally tough wife, Kara. 1923 debuts December 18th on Paramount Plus. The legend of Pete Davidson continues. There's something in the sauce. He got something, okay? Rumors have been flying today, alleging Davidson and model Emily Ratajkowski are dating. No way. Yes way! The curiosity behind Davidson's dating life has long been a topic of conversation. The comedian has dated the likes of Kate Beckinsale, Ariana Grande, and most recently, Kim Kardashian. Wow, what's that guy got? And I'm like, I mean, he seems super charming. Yep. He's vulnerable. He's yep. lovely. Great. His fingernail polish is awesome. Like, he <laughs> looks good. Of course, rumors of a new fling for Davidson haven't gone without jokes on the internet. Legendary singer Dionne Warwick said she was tweeting into existence that she will be dating the comedian next.